Okay, um, throughout my tutorials on this YouTube channel, I do use auto runs quite a lot and to explain about removing sometimes malware or programs that start up on the logon. So, the next one's going to be about how to make Windows login faster by using auto runs. So, okay, I'm just going to do a really quick overview of auto runs. Now, there's lots of stuff that you can play with in here. And this it basically is all the stuff that automatically runs on your computer. Now there's a lot of this stuff that you won't want to touch unless you're an expert. And what you usually need to do is to go to um, options and then filter the options and then hide the Microsoft entries. Always okay. Now, and if you're looking at some of the stuff that is running on your computer and you don't really know what it is and you're like, well, can I, does that really need to be running on my computer? You really need to just go here and then you can right click on it and you go to search online and that will take you to Google and then on Google it will tell you what the process is and whether you can disable it. Now, usually what you want to do, what, what kind of process you want to get rid of would be your logon. So on your logon you would say, well, I don't really want QuickTime to start up and I don't really want iChange Hyper to start up. Now, obviously you'll research it first to make sure you can, you have it turned off. So you'll not, you, oh, I don't want Skype to start up. I don't want Magic Disk to start up. You know, there's lots of different things here you can say to yourself, well, I don't really want them to start up. So always just click on them, right click, um, search online, make sure that they're not necessary to start up whenever Windows starts. And then basically what you want to do is um, disable them just like that. So that is an introduction to auto runs and how it works. And it is a pretty awesome software. It's a bit better than um, Windows own built-in startup options because it's a bit more advanced and there's a lot more in it. But that's it. That's basically the introduction to it. Um, if you ever do see me talking about it, I'll always refer to this video so you know how to use it. Thank you. Bye.